Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil 2 Remake. When we last left off, we kicked William in the ass. Well, actually punched him in the eye with a grenade launcher, but it's a similar thing. After he thoroughly squished our face into the dirt, and we met this young girl, who we don't know her name just yet. So let's get out of here. Oh, in the parking garage. Here. Man, I can't get over how good this game looks. Come on. Over there. Yes, 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 yes. Before we start, oh no, Claire. Yeah, before we start running around like mad women, let's um see what's around here. What's that on the floor? Nothing, I guess. Well, apparently there's stuff in here. So that's where we can go down. Got police barriers, do not cross. Well, we didn't plan on crossing them. Let's be honest. Come yeah, man. So, we can't go through there, it's locked. Okay. I'm not leaving this place until I've found some goodies. I have been told there's goodies here by the map. So that is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to look for goodies. Police car. These police cars have definitely seen better days. Oh, look, there's a lucky little mini here. What's down here? Another locked door. I guess. Okay. Something is making a hell of a lot of noise around here. Hmm. Okay. Swap van. Really? But the game is saying there's stuff here. That's also locked. Ah. Uh. Right, well. In the original, there was a herb down here. Unless, I guess... No, there's got to be stuff here. There has to be. Because otherwise, the room wouldn't be red. But, I can't see anything. Have we been around here? Yeah. Warning, keep out. I mean, something's banging away. But I think that might be Sherry. Okay, that's kind of annoying that this area is red. Is it red because of this, though? Ah. We need a card. Damn it. We need a key card. Come on. Here, come out. I doubt you two are going to be able to move that. Are you sure this is the way? This is how my mom took me last time. Sherry? I've been looking everywhere. Hello. Brave little girl. Oh. Across the middle of this mess. On the ground, hands behind your head. You can't be serious. On the ground. Now. 
Sherry, tie her hands. Why are you doing Shut this? Shut up. Tie her. Okay, then. You tie her up now, or she dies. What the fuck? This is a bit more... Uh, intense. What's this all about? Child endangerment, for starters. Sherry, come here. What are you gonna do to her? None of your fucking business. You hurt her, I swear to God, my brother is stars, and I will fuck that! Sherry, get over here. What's your name? What's your fucking name? Claire! Sherry, you come with me now, or say goodbye to Claire. Okay, okay, I'll go! You better be taking me to my mom. Absolutely. Don't listen to him, he's full of shit. Stop hurting her, please! Shh. Don't tell me how shit. to do my job. Stop! Let me go! Let me go! Obviously nobody taught you manners. We'll fix that. Oh, yes, we will. Let me go. Uh, Claire, you might... I'll get you, you fucker! Might want your gun, Claire. Damn, we get to see a bit of... Stay safe, Sherry. Claire's personality. Holy shit. Okay. Key card first. Yeah, too fucking right. What a piece of shit, man. What did he drop? I know it's like here somewhere. She picked up what he dropped, though, didn't she? Although, I guess he opened one of the doors. Ah, he opened that one there. Irons, what a dick. Seriously. There's... Okay, now she decides not to use her torch. Okay, has she still got that cut on her face? No. But then she's a Redfield, so that's to be expected. I wonder if she mentioned that her name was uh, Redfield. I wonder if that would have changed things. Alright, well let's get out of here anyway. Must be where that yeah. From. But he definitely dropped something, though. Raccoon Monthly, June issue. Attentional Raccoon City heroes. Who's the most feared yet respected man in town? The answer should be obvious to any resident of our fair city. That's right. It's Police Chief Brian Irons. The man that scares the bejesus out of criminals everywhere and stern father that loves every last one of us sinful citizens. Yeah, uh, I, I don't think so. Um, he's actually a giant rapist piece of shit, if you uh, are familiar with the law. Chief Irons is known for his great charity work, including big con uh, contribute. Big, can you, I can't read now. My dyslexia is fucking me over. Uh, so he's contributed lots of money to the orphanage. Uh, support for abused women. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, most of which he obviously abused, I'm guessing. Art preservation, animal conservation. Let us know if we missed anything. Just when does our great hero sleep? When asked, the city is my extended family. I'm just looking to do... I'm just doing what I do for my family. Chief Irons said with a soft smile. Ha. Huh. Bastard is the police chief? Yeah, funny that, eh, Claire? Need a heart key for... Uh, a spade key for that. Got there in the end. Got the police station map. 
See, it's saying there's stuff in this corridor as well. Um, which is interesting. But there is nothing in this corridor. I'm confused over what there is to do here. Express elevator to chief's office. Not for general use. Yeah, well, fuck you, chief. Ah, uh, oh, I guess that's what we need his badge for, that he dropped. Where was that, though? We looked. He dropped it by one of the white lines. Is that it? No. I'm sure he dropped it here. But... I can't see anything. Okay, I'm confused. He definitely dropped something. But apparently not. Oh, hang on. This door's now. Well, that door's now open as well. All right. Ooh, the kennels. The firing range. Guessing we've got liquors down here. Now, luckily, we can deal with liquors. Don't want to go into the kennels just yet. What's oh, a blue herb? That's all that's here. Oh boy, let's not go into the kennels just yet. What's that? Whatever that is, that's locked. Yep. Yeah. I'm actually surprised after reading everything he didn't kill Claire. the firing range. Equipment disposal notice. Uh, item to be disposed. Key to patrol car 7439. Details. Bent key. No longer usable but can still open the car doors and trunk with its keyless entry buttons. Uh, good to know. Remember these boxes from RE... Seven. There's something inside. Uh, okay. So. Ah, okay. A well worn key. Well, we'll have that. Message from Mr. Raccoon. Howdy, boys and girls. It's your pal from Raccoon City Zoo. It's always great to see you. Today I want to talk uh, about something really important to me. Do you know my popular raccoon toys? Well, I heard some bad kids have been using them for target practice, but that makes me really sad. Good little kids wouldn't be that mean, right? Plus, it's super duper dangerous. Don't do it. Anyway, see you at the zoo. Yeah. Well, we're going to be shooting all the Mr. Raccoons. Now you would have thought there's like some bullets or something here. I wouldn't actually mind to start letting off a few rounds, but I get the feeling that would be a waste of ammo. Can't go through there, but we can go through here. Ooh. 
apparently there's stuff here too. Ah, flame ammo. Don't mind if I do, that's it. Ah. That's a Mr. Raccoon. Okay. I guess we didn't wake the zombies. I'm assuming that they're zombies. Right, so we've got three Mr. Raccoons. It's actually quite confusing because they're not in order that you'd find them. <sighs> Let's go back to the sewers a minute. Might have actually missed a Mr. Raccoon. I don't really want to miss a Mr. Raccoon. Because I want to unlock the knife. The unlimited knife. Still something in the underground stairs. Okay, this isn't actually the sewers. Good to know. So that isn't actually the sewers, right. That's the underground facility. Alright. I'm going to be pretty pissed if I get towards the end of the game and we've, we've missed some. Okay. Oh! See, by leaving, he's reset his position. Which is quite nice. Uh, there's nothing else in here of worth. Okay. He's up there. As long as we don't anger him. There's two. Uh oh. SpaghettiOs. How? Okay, that's kind of got them interested. Now let's see if we can amble round these guys. So I don't want to waste the ammo on them if they have to. We are locked and loaded. Just in case. The other one's up there, which is fine. Ah, okay, cool. Yeah, I really don't want to fight these guys if we don't have to. Just seems to be an incredible waste of our resources. I mean, our resources are kind of considerable at the moment, but... 
Let's try and keep them that way for now. Now, can we? Ah, we can. Ah, we need the crank. So we need the crank for a few things then. So where's this? Ah, we're in the morgue. Oh. Oh, we didn't look for that car either. Mm, we know these guys are going to get up. There's definitely going to be more in here. Than meets the eye. Can we open all of these? Yeah. Oh, do not want. Like all of these. Yes. I guess. Alright, let's get rid of this guy then. Are you alive? Ooh. Autopsy records. Name of deceased. Justin Hansen, 39 years old. Observations. Found dead in jail bed by staff. Hands are still clenched tight due to rigor mortis, which should be coming to an end. It's highly likely that he died just after lights out. Deceased was a well-known kleptomaniac, incarcerated multiple times. Incredibly, he would still even while in jail, although that was consented with was consented with clinical diagnosis. Okay, so I guess we've got to find that guy then. I guess these are the names of the people in there, but. We can't have access to it. Yeah, he's alive. Alright. It's alright, Claire. Come on. There we go. Claire, you gotta calm down, okay? Let's just slice this guy's brain. There we go. You done? No. Come on, buddy. Come on. Buddy, you're not helping me here. You're dead now? Yeah, cool. Alright, well, let's start opening these one by one. Okay, it's fuck all in there. Uh... Kind of. Oh. Yeah, saw that happening. Alright, buddy. I don't think so, pal. You're gonna die. You're gonna die by my blade. You're dead? I hope you're dead, because my knife's almost broken. And I need my knife. Okay, hopefully there's no other bodies. Uh... Damn it. Have you got anything? No. So you, my dear, can go back. What's behind this one? Nothing. Good to know. We're still going to have to make it back through the liquor room. Oh, God damn it. Yeah, we'll take that. And now you can go back in. Why would they fill this thing with zombies? I mean, they seem like... I mean, he seems like he was a zombie before, because his hands are bloody. Unless he just, uh, you know, scratched away inside that thing. Whilst he was still alive. Oh. Yeah. We have bugs. We don't really want. We don't really want to play with the bugs. I think that might upset Claire a little bit. Oh. 
Don't mind if I do. I was actually hoping for some ammo, but I'll take a red herb. I don't really need to put these things in. And nothing. Okay, so, I mean, it was kind of worth searching, but also kind of not. Oh, so now we have to go back through the liquor room. Hmm. We might have to get rid of one of these guys. Hmm. I wonder. Because they're very sensitive to hearing. For science. Oh god. Okay. Well, I mean, that kind of worked. Okay. That was intense. It worked. Kind of. I think that was a worthwhile use. Oh. Oh. What? Game. Game. That was bullshit. Yeah. That was bullshit. Ah. Oh. Okay. Ah, oh, wait a minute. Well, we're almost out of time here, guys. So I'm going to go around and do all that again off camera. Uh, that was cheap as it comes, man. Ah. Oh. God damn it. So, I'm going to run around. Actually, should we just do it now quickly? I guess we could. There's no point going through there. Was there anything through here? I can't remember. Must be where that guy came from. <sighs> I'm thinking it might be worth just to bring those liquors down. Because if they're going to chase us into the other hallway, then, yeah, we're just going to bring those liquors down. Because at the end of the day, we're the most fearsome thing around here. Not the liquor. And those fucking liquors need to be put in their place. And I think it's down to me and Claire to put them in their place. So that is exactly what we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen. Let's be quiet here. We do have enough grenade rounds. Yeah, so it looks like you only have to get these once, which is actually really nice. Okay, so I think, yeah, we've got everything in here now. That kennel area was quite interesting, though. I was expecting to find dogs. Not liquors. And there's also apparently... S what was in here? What have we missed? What have we missed in this hallway? I guess we could actually have a look, see what's in that car. Now what car boot is it? I guess it's a police car. So it's not that one. It's not that one. That's not a police car. Guess that one. Uh, oh. Oh. That's actually quite clever. That's cool. I like that. So it's this one here. Oh. Oh, we got a handgun. A 
and that's what was apparently in here. Um, so it's got a laser sight. 13 shot 9mm handgun, first to use double stack magazines. It was a marvel of firepower at the time due to how many rounds it could hold. So is that better than... Can we like unequip that? So is this gun like better? Oh, I like. I like the laser sight. Okay, well we're gonna roll with this one for a while then. All right, that's cool. And we got a free 13 rounds of ammo. Yeah, I definitely think killing these liquors is gonna be the way forward. So where do they come out of? Where did that liquor come from? I don't know. Hey, pal. Maybe even if we just thin the population. Maybe if we just take one out. Mm-mm. I love the smell of roast liquor in the morning. Now, where was the item in here? Oh. Oh, fucking hell, that made me jump. Um, yeah, can you, like, die? Can we, like, get out of here? Holy fuck. Holy shit, guys. Those liquors don't fuck around, do they? Yeah, we'll go for a longer uh, video this time. Man, they are proper hardcore. We don't need that anymore. <sighs> yeah. Jesus. Because there's a herb in here. But. Um, let's. Let's get this guy going. Oh, cut his arm off. Oh, yes, sir. Okay, so power-wise, I'm guessing around about the same. I mean, we have profited. Because we've got some more bullets. I think he's dead. And we really need to get Claire some health, but we're going to have to do that in a minute. Nothing can't remember what was in what now. Yeah. Can we cut this guy's legs off? Yes, we can. So, before we grab the key... There was nothing in here, just that woman. Nope, I think that was the next one. Yeah. She didn't have anything for us, so she can go straight back in. The morgue is definitely less intense than it was originally. I mean, the atmosphere is better. He... Had the grenade. But he's dead. As in, dead dead. Proper dead. But let's just, you know, put him back just to be safe. I can't believe those liquors. They're brutal. Can you imagine if they like remade RE1 and uh, the hunters were like that? Because the hunters were brutal anyway. Definitely one of these had bugs. Was it this one? Yep. But the bugs don't seem to attack you. 
There's the herb. And I think that was all that was interesting in here. But man, liquors. They don't fuck around. We've got a round in that. Good. Um, let's grab that. Yeah, you can go suck a big, fat, juicy cock, my friend. Now, my worry... Yeah, there's still stuff in this corridor. Now, I don't think Zeds that have had their legs removed can... Um... Attacker. Uh, can open doors. At least there's no dogs here. I mean, small mercies and all that. But where did the liquor get at us from? That's what I want to know. It, like, came through the wall. Ah. Okay, so he was already here. Oh. So sometimes they can take. Whoa, you've got to be kidding. Three. Three grenade rounds. Okay. Okay, that's cool game. So we didn't have to kill those lickers. Ah. We might have fucked ourselves from an ammo standpoint here. Oh. Oh. Okay, I thought that we could sneak through there. Okay, so I'm guessing whatever is in this room is through there. If there is anything in this room. Man, we really need some health. It's alright, Claire, you got this. Yeah, we really need to stop recording because we've been going for ages. I'm having so much fun. Dude, liquors, man. Like, they are crazy hard. And I like it. To be fair, they should be. You know, they're freaking nasty motherfuckers. So they definitely should be tough. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, sexy. What are you used for? Oh, M79, obviously, but... A custom part for the GM79 that greatly reduces kickback and gives each shot a more stable trajectory. More accuracy, I guess, but... Never had any problems with, it ac with its accuracy so far. That... Oh, now it's a double slot. Didn't want to do that. Uh, I actually wanted to um, make acid rounds, but... Oh, okay. So, yeah, I guess it's now greatly improved accuracy. Right. Let's flick the shit switch. So we've... There's still stuff in here, apparently. Oh. A blue herb. Still stuff in here. Apparently. There can't still... Ah, unless it's the map. 
I know, Claire matey. I know. I know. Your endless torment is almost over. Is he is, Claire. I know, I know. I'm... Man, I mean, what's Leon going to do? I suppose he's going to have to rely on the Magnum to take out liquor. Because the shotgun's cool, but it's no freaking match to a 40mm grenade launcher. Hmm. However, this gun... Quite like. Oh, and as much as I want to continue, guys, we really should stop playing here because we've been playing for quite a while. So I hope you've enjoyed it. I know I have. And when we come back, I guess we're going down the elevator. So thanks for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.